what's up you guys it's your girl amber victoria i am back with another video if you are new go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell button so that you'll be notified when i post new videos so today as you can tell by the title it's gonna be a quick little chit chat slash mukbang um just so i can update you guys on what's been going on in my life as far as my nursing career i got some domino's pizza here i only got two slices but Got some Domino's pizza that I'm finna eat. Bottle of Dasani water because I love Dasani. So, if you're interested in my uh, journey as far as like becoming a travel nurse, because I just secured my first contract assignment. Yay! So, if you're interested in knowing about my process, my agency, my pay, my everything under that umbrella, just stay tuned um, and get all the details. It's hard for me to like eat and talk at the same time. So I don't know why I decided to do this mukbang. Some of you may or may not know, I'm a NICU nurse, okay? Um, I have been for two years and a few months um, working at a level four NICU in Alabama. That's my home, that's where I started, that's where I've been love it i decided once i got two years of experience i wanted to go out and be a travel rn and just get that experience i thought that would be fun and it's a lot of money so yeah that's what i wanted to do so when that time rolled around in 2020 that was my two-year mark i started applying um for my california rn license because i just knew i wanted to go to california but unfortunately coronavirus hits and y'all know coronavirus ruined everybody's life <laughs> so the country basically had shut down and you know i did get my license i got my license in may i originally applied for it in february when i got my license i did not expect the jobs to go away you know like they did and they did there were no NICU contracts in the United States for a while you guys so I was stuck in my current facility way longer than I thought I was going to be I just knew because I had all this plan out in my head I just knew I was gonna go to Cali this summer in like May or June I was gonna be gone bitch it's August and I'm still here <laughs> I'm still fucking here all thanks to coronavirus I know people might not understand how could coronavirus affect like uh healthcare jobs but it really did it affected jobs everywhere and then when NICU jobs did start to open back up and I'm talking with my recruiters the different agencies I've been working with for months and months and months you know what I'm saying we've been looking for me a job ever since I work with about four agencies four agencies like faithfully that literally was texting me stuff every week what had opened up what they felt fit me you know what i'm saying if it was a good pay they knew what i wanted or whatever i was i'm open to any level nicu i am a level four nicu but i'm open to any level really you know what i'm saying then i had to broaden my horizon and say you know what i'm not gonna just say california you know what, I'm open to anywhere in the country at this point. I just wanna go, I just wanna go, get out of here, get out of Alabama, do something different. Um, I wanted a certain pay, like um, at, during coronavirus, you know, everybody not probably not getting paid what they should be getting paid or normally would be getting paid. And they're only high if you work with COVID patients and I'm not doing that because I don't fuck with adults. You know, I had set a limit. I was like, look, I'm not taking home less than $1,500 a week. You get paid weekly as a travel nurse. I got a few interviews here and there, um, but the position would always get filled by someone else, usually with more experience, because this is my first uh, travel assignment. You know, after a while, I was getting discouraged. I was like, nobody's going to give me a chance. It's so competitive. Basically, I just started submitting everywhere. I was like, just submit me. Yeah, that sounds good. Submit me, yeah. yeah I submitted to this Georgia contract, and you know, a week later, these, these things go fast. So usually if I don't hear back within like two or three days, then I already know it's been filled. You know what I'm saying? I submitted for this Georgia contract one week and i didn't hear back until like a whole nother week and i was like what is still open then yeah and my recruiter was like yeah they want to do an interview with you they i'm like oh okay cool i set up the interview with her 
phone interview. I love these phone interviews. I love these virtual interviews where you're on your phone answering questions. And then sometimes you record your answer for certain questions. I thought that was cool. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm just sitting up here recording my answers to interview questions. Send, you know what I'm saying? You got, you can repeat, do it over and over again to make yourself sound good. I, I love doing that. But anyways, girl, when she called me, she's like, oh my gosh, we're so interested in you. And let me tell you about our unit, blah, blah, blah. Start spilling about the whole unit, how they operate, all this good stuff. And I'm like, okay. When we gonna talk about me? You got any questions for me? I thought it was an interview. Nope. She didn't ask me shit about myself. <laughs> she didn't really ask me anything about like, you know, my experience or nothing. It was way different from the other interviews. I guess she just had her mindset on the fact that she really wanted me. She liked my portfolio. And I'm like, cool, check, easy. I didn't have to do shit. I didn't have to, like, nothing. And she was like, so would you be interested? We talked for like an hour, you know, about everything, getting all the information that I, and I asked, I asked a bunch of questions. And then she was like, so do you think you'll be interested? And I'm like, yeah, I was like, yeah, I think so. I was like, I'm gonna think about it, get back to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, give me, give me 24 hours to think about it. I didn't need those damn 24 hours. I already, I was like, Shh, we going, period. I'm going. Like, I just made it sound like I needed time to think, but I really didn't. <laughs> I really didn't. At this point, it's August. Like, I'm ready to go. So, I'm getting the first offer. I'm taking the first offer I get and did. So, yeah, that's how I got here today. <laughs> Somebody believed in me and is giving me a chance. So, now I can say I have had travel experience so even though it's right next door in Atlanta right outside of Atlanta and I'm in Alabama now it's only two hours away I'm still happy it's more money we're still a different city I like Atlanta Atlanta's cool I don't know too many people up there but it's a vibe I can fuck with it this NICU is a level three NICU it's a lot smaller than what I'm used to, so I'll be getting paid more money to do less work, probably. So I'm excited to see what I'm getting into and just get that experience and meet new people and make more money, honey. At any point, you guys, uh, comment below any questions so I can answer your questions in my next video about travel nursing but right now i'm just talking off the top of my head on what i feel like y'all would want to know or should know if you're interested um so yeah so that's kind of how my process went nothing comes easy for me in life ever i feel like i always have to work hard for shit you know what i'm saying i hear about people's experiences getting contract jobs um uh, going so easy so smoothly mine has literally been like this I sign on August 7th. I start on August 24th. So that's one, two, two weeks. Two weeks and three days to be exact for me to get all of my stuff done that I have to get done for a travel job. So for a travel nurse job, you know what I'm saying? Once you sign a contract, your recruiter sends you all this paperwork that you have to submit. You got to send, send in titers. Um, Make sure you got all your immun your immunizations and shots and stuff. If you don't, you got to go get those done. You got to go get a drug screen done. You got to get a background check. You got to get a physical exam. You got to get um, <clears throat> TB, like a whole bunch of stuff. That's what I went and did today. Um, what else? I had to upload my license, my diploma, my cert certification. Um, it's been kind of a rocky situation with my current agency. I will, you know, tell y'all who they are later in my next videos. I'll let y'all know what agency I used. Um, after the experience or whatever. As of right now, they like on my bad side because... I don't like, I'm OCD, I don't like last minute ass shit. I knew I was gonna have to go get shots and stuff. I asked my placement consultant to send me 
this information last week. I asked for this last Thursday, you guys. And she didn't send it to me until yesterday. So that's why I'm just not going today. And I'm just like, bro, I could have been had this done last week. Y'all playing. If my shit ain't back and I don't get to start on Monday, I'm going to beat one of y'all ass. And that's just that. But I had to buy a storage unit because I have to move out my apartment, you guys. Leaving this behind, I decided it would be cheaper for me to get rid of this place and rent a room in um, Georgia for the next few months. Um, my contract is a 10-week contract. And unless they extend me, I already have my work schedule. Me and her, we already did that. I'm working three days a week. The schedule looks good, honey. When I say it looks good, it looks good. I'm happy. I'm barely working any weekends. <laughs> I bitch, I will be outside. Okay, and that's the ACO. Night shift. Y'all know I only fucking with the night shift. The pay is good. It's all right. It's Georgia. You can't expect too much from certain states. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it's $1,500 a week. So, that's definitely more than what I'm already making. You know, that's double what I make now. So, I'm happy about that. And, you know, you get your stipends. And I rented a room through Airbnb. So, um, you can use Furnish Finder or Airbnb. Um, I used Airbnb this time because it was, a little, it was cheaper. I found a cheaper place on Airbnb. And, um... Yeah, but those two are really good places to like rent rooms and stuff for the low. For all my travel nurses out there, it's like six something a month, six hundred and something a month. Um, and you know, I just had to rent a room because you can't find a place. Like you can't. I paid nine hundred dollars for this apartment right here. So in order for me to make money, in order for anybody to make money as a travel nurse, you gonna have to don't go if you ain't making no money. Okay, it's not worth it. You're gonna be breaking even, basically. I was like, I would be breaking even if I keep my apartment here and play, pay for a place to stay there while I'm there. No, 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 no. I'm trying to save money, okay? So I had to get rid of this place. Plus, I didn't want to be driving back and forth like that. My total Airbnb tab was $1,200, I think pay that with one check and then still have some money play money left over with and that go my place to stay so boom that's why i did that and then the only bills i'm not gonna have to pay no bills while i'm there because i'm renting a room that already come with internet and utilities and water and you know what i'm saying i don't have to pay none of those bills all i'm gonna be paying is like my car insurance my storage unit I found an $88 storage unit, $88 a month, right down the street. Y'all, who? Oh, I'm finna be saving, stacking. You know what I'm saying? I, I already got plan in my head how I'm, a, how I'm gonna use my money. What I'm gonna do with my money. There's something that I really, really want, like a Louis bag. So I'm probably gonna spend a check on the Louis bag because I've been wanting a Louis bag. Treat yourself, sis. And there's something else that I really, really want that I'm going to use my money on. Oh, I want some more tattoos, so I'm probably going to spend some money on that. You know, I said earlier that I worked with, like, four different agencies. I like Liquid. I think it's, like, Liquid Healthcare. I think that's their full name or something like that. Liquid Agencies, um, Medical Solutions, um, Aya, Aya, A-Y-A, um, Atlas. I think those are my main four that I'd like talk to on the regular. And then another thing about agencies, um, I personally, I just went with the first offer that I got. But I would suggest, I wish that offer had came from one of my other agencies that I'm working with. But it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. But I would suggest working with an agency that has a relocation um, payment and that, uh, so basically they give you like you know a couple hundred dollars to relocate and to work with a um agency that gives reimbursements for any certifications that you have to get for your job um like the one that i am with right now if i would have needed like acls or whatever they would have paid for me to get that certification so yeah just do your research on the agencies make sure they got good benefits if you need benefits i'm only 24 so i don't really need like healthcare benefits 
um because i'm still on my parents insurance chop it up with your recruiter y'all have a bud let her know what you want like i said give this video a thumbs up if you feel like it was informational give me a thumbs up if y'all are excited for me on this new journey i can't wait i just so excited i'm stressed but i know it's all gonna work out in the end once everything's just gonna come together i can start on monday um i have I'm excited I have to go buy new scrubs because I'm used to wearing like t-shirts and just different color scrubs. But at this facility, they wear um, navy blue. If you have any questions, any questions, DM me on social media. Drop it in the comment section. I'll do a Q&A as far as like travel nursing. And I just can't wait to secure my next contract in November. So yeah, I'm already talking to my recruiters about you know getting me something in november because i just want to go from place to place to place you know what i'm saying and get this money honey i don't usually eat the crust either what about y'all do y'all eat the crust on y'all pizza it depends sometimes i do sometimes i don't i live in a one bedroom apartment now y'all i hope all my shit can fit in this damn storage unit i got a 10 by 10 Whatever don't fit gonna have to be sold or taken down to my parents' house. It's gonna be a tight squeeze, I ain't gonna lie. I got a lot of shit. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Thanks so much for supporting me. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Okay? Bye!